It was the question I kept on asking myself. How could I have been so blind? I was convinced the Broncos had gotten the wrong man for the job, but maybe De Silva was right. I was the stooge. The bad joke everybody got but me. Either those guys wheeled their trash out on stretchers, or something was seriously wrong here. I hadn't slept in days. Ufe. Was there anything they didn't have a grubby hand in? A few days earlier I'd have called it a coincidence, but I'd written off too many of those already. This hotel was a five-star bona fide shithole. I needed to find out why guests were checking in by the bus load and checking out by the bag load. Maybe the service would be better upstairs. Não tá fazendo nada, tô fazendo tudo sozinho. Como é que eu não tô pegando nada, rapaz? Tô trabalhando aqui, ficando de... Ah! É Vindo nessa direção! 
needed to find a way upstairs. Surely nobody would notice another hole in the wall. I knew this thing was bigger than me. Bigger than the Broncos, but I only had a glimpse of the whole picture. Like looking in a mirror and for an instant seeing what everyone else sees. A bad caricature of a better man. Ufe, that deal at the favela was getting dirtier by the minute. Those bastards were clearly in bed with the crash of Prado. Now we just had to find out why. Starting with a bit of bedtime reading for Mr. Da Silva. When you've lived the kind of life I've lived, reality comes at you through a different lens. But nothing could have prepared me for what was on the other side of that door. I had to get those poor bastards out of there. Get them out of here. Go. Go. Wait. I said get. Serrano. Serrano. He looked pathetic. A man defeated. I walked away and left him to his own personal nightmare. Whatever hell this was De Silva had sent me into, I knew I had to put an end to it. I had no choice but to push on. I didn't understand everything, and I never would, but I understood enough. Sometimes a complicated problem is best tackled with a simple solution. was hell on earth. De Silva was no fool. I'd have driven on off into the sunset too. It looked like Victor had won the sympathy vote, found his universal connection to the people, triumph out of tragedy. Part of me couldn't help thinking that had been his plan all along. <laughs> 